All right, let's get at this. Options. Uh, maximum lives. Okay, I wanted to look at the controls, but sure. Like jump shot, sounds right. Let's see. We've got Captain Generic, we've got Android 18, we've got Duggo, and we've got Robot. Robot. I'm gonna play as the Robot, because he's the best character. Our security system has been breached by an unknown hacker. An unmanned robot is running rampant throughout the city. I want you to proceed to the area ASAP and restore order. You got it, boss. I don't know how to drive! Alright, Brownie the robot. I remember how to play this game? Not really. Just keep running, I think, is the, is the key. Whoop. I want those upgrades, though. No, I'm already dead. Kinda got stuck. Oh, I don't, I don't think I like that weapon. It doesn't turn around fast enough. I like the other one, the shield. I was trying to remember how it worked though when I died. Is that game over already? I did. that guy and I hadn't. Okay, so I lost the useless whip weapon, but I've got got the uh, laser shield thing. You need to hold it down to get a shield or you can Fire multi shots, homing shots. Okay. Apparently, I can't climb up there while I'm charging this. Oh, I got a grenade. How do I? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I don't know how you do that. You could slide through it. You probably can slide through it if you do the timing right. I think I was probably supposed to double jump over it. All right, right. This guy gets the double jump and it takes you really high. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. I can't remember how this guy works. Other than he likes to boogie boogie. Oh yeah, I think I remember now. Stand right in the middle, and he doesn't actually... Where they explode... You gotta stand where the explosions aren't. Which I think is right in the middle. Ah, oh, okay, we spawned here, so that's nice at least. Might be the first level at this rate. Uh, I lost my uh, cool shield power thing though. Maybe I should have been using that instead of this. Probably would have been a faster damage output. I remember this guy being really easy. I thought I don't want to waste my uh, good power. I'll just use this, which is easy and reliable. Then I was like, I don't. Then I remembered that I don't know how to play this game. Yeah, there he goes doing his boogie dance. Boogie bot, and that's him. See, you can just stand exactly in the middle and fire upwards and that best them for you. What we got here? 
Okay, we've got the boomerang attack. And we've got the... Yeah, the, the flail, which is the best weapon. What the... I'm a little offended that the game let that happen. Sniper! Okay, what was the technique to beating this guy? That's not the unmanned robot. Somebody is inside that thing. My culture is not your exoskeleton. Oh, oh what, what? Okay, I didn't think that hit me, but sure. stage. Oh, there goes that building. Okay. That was the point at which I didn't want to be there anymore. I hope we all learned a valuable lesson about not being there anymore. Kind of a shame that you gotta wait for the boogie bot to arrive every single time. Takes a while. I mean, I feel like we could probably skip this. This part isn't really even gameplay. I'm just holding two buttons. It's like a Sonic game made after uh, made after 2002. You just hold right and tap jump. And I still almost screwed it up by forgetting to get my weapon. Okay, here we go. and learn how this guy works. That's not the unmanned robot. Somebody is inside that thing. Oh, okay. Immediately jumps on me. There goes my best weapon. There goes my second best weapon. Oh, I don't even know what I was doing there. Maybe I'm better off just using this thing? Whoop. Okay, should have gone over him, I guess. I think this is a game you just gotta memorize. Or learn, or get good at. I'm more into games that you don't have to get good at. Games that cater to my skill level. Went at me, Boogie Bot. shoots this thing as though it's like it's our vehicle or, or we care about it. I don't know what that thing is. I presume the enemy put it there, but I don't know what they were using it for.
I mean, I certainly wasn't steering it. Probably a good thing that it wasn't that he put a stop to it. Okay, here we go. Helicopter mode engaged. Oh come on, I jumped there. How did you get me? Fine. I think you're away. Actually, I think maybe the technique here is to uh, stay on the platform and then just crouch down shoot. If you dash that, you can probably jump over it easily enough. I think I was doing that the hard way. Again, this is what I mean by you have to learn this game. What or who are you? You don't normally hear that question that way around. Normally it's who or what are you? <laughs> you can call me Dead Eye Joe. If you want to know more than that, then come and get me. The research center is under attack by an unknown group. Please, come and help. Damn, what should I do? Pretty sure we're supposed to rescue the research center. Damn, at this speed we'll never get there on time. Hey bro, looks like you're having some trouble. Grab onto my machine and I'll take you where you want to go. The air police, you guys sure have good timing. Look out, one of the bad guys is coming up from behind. Oop, okay. I think I was firing the wrong way there. Okay, yeah. I'm supposed to be damaging them with uh, their own guys. Jets into turbo. Look out! It's a scuba diver! Scuba diver with a grappling hook. I wasn't prepared for this. Um. Nobody was ready for us to be attacked by a scuba diver with a grappling hook. Least of all the scuba divers. That part could have gone better. Whoop. Rats, we took one. We're going down. Hang on, buddy. It'll be a rough landing. And now I'm dead. Go on without me, little bro. Take that door. I don't have a key. I left my key at home today. A tiny robot? We weren't prepared for this! Are you okay? I'm fine. But you must stop them. They're after the alien cell. Alien cell? We got it from the Mother Alien in the Alien Wars five years ago. It's very dangerous, so we were keeping a close eye on it. So the rampaging robot was just a clever diversion. Look how energetic this guy is. He really cares about his job. If he'd go in there and offer them some fisticuffs, he thought it would help. Whoop. Let's probably use this one, actually. Oh, okay, I dodged into that bullet. That one was maybe on me. Oh, is that game over again? Doesn't do a lot of damage in this farm, does it? If 
I'm better just using my gun here. Apparently these guys can take a few hits from a regular gun, so maybe I'm not better using this. But I just need to outrun them. Aha, they can't climb like this. We're perfectly safe now. We're safe forever. Oop. Careful, steady, steady. Ooh. Aha, we got an upgrade for our regular gun. Oh, it's... This is what we had earlier that I thought was actually a downgrade because, uh... You can't turn around as fast using it. You killed. Oh no, I'm too late. Uh -oh. oh no, the maintenance robot's gone berserk. beat this guy before, that was really... Oh, okay, don't don't climb up. Well, I was stuck there. What was I supposed to do that time? That was not a good spawn point. Oh, and that's game over? <laughs> Rip. Let's try out one of the other characters that we've not seen. Let's try out uh, Ray. Ray Generic. They all have different moves. I assume his will be the most generic of them all. Oh, okay. Already died as well. Lock and loaded, apparently. Okay. I got. It's got like homing grenades and a laser. Never mind, plus the laser. These homing missiles don't do the damage I would hope for. Also, when you fire at something that's behind you, they seem to prefer to fire through the ground than they do over you, so they just blow themselves up. Oh well. Earthquake! Everybody gets the same grenades. That guy with the diaper. The robot normally kills him with that. I wasn't expecting him to survive that rotation. Okay, let's give this guy another go. We just can figure out how he plays. I don't like that the duck mechanic works differently with. Every character other than the robot who's like the only one I've played. Makes it really hard to reliably dodge. Alright, that was that. Those bullets, uh, those are uh, some fast bullets. Those are not the kind of bullets that you really dodge. I'm gonna run out of, I've not even reached the first checkpoint, so I'm gonna run out of continue. I'll probably just go back to playing as a robot after this, I'll just move on to a different game. Okay, so the laser is the upgrade for his machine gun. It explains why it's really generic. It's like the grenade launcher is easily his, his best weapon. Or the homing missile launch or whatever this is.
Oh, okay, I like this way. Boogie bot time. Show me your dance. Dance for me the dance of joy. Is a new weapon? Okay, so I got a shotgun, I've got homing missiles, I've got laser, and I've got Okay. Explosives. I think this guy is basically the uh, generic Contra character in that he plays like the characters in the other games. And the other ones are the quirky ones to get this game's special stuff. I don't know how the girl plays, maybe she's also a generic Contra character. I guess the two weird looking ones have the, the weird abilities. They all have the same dialogue by the looks of it. I think the looks like the key to this weapon is just always be firing upwards so that all of your shots hit. Otherwise, some of them might go underneath them. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Also, the... Now I get him. What was that? Seems like this guy does a lot less damage. At least with these weapons. Oh! I tried to jump and he uh, slid instead. I not be unmanned robot. I mean, not A on un unmanned robot. Because that implies that there is an unmanned robot somewhere else. Go 
Still doing the tackles, huh? Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this guy. Never mind. Never mind, I blew it. I'm so sick of seeing this guy. You don't even have to fight him, you just hold down up and fire. I mean, his little dance doesn't delight that much. Got dead eye, Joe. This guy's not so tough as long as you don't screw up. Unfortunately, that's my weakness. that dead eye Joe. Yeah. Alright, we beat stage one. I'm like, like our fiftieth try. Go through Tokyo two, Tokyo three. I know they've got missiles full containing cryopods. Possibly. They've got the the torpedoes from Star Trek Into Darkness. They look like torpedoes, but they've got guys inside. Makes me wonder how dangerous those things are. Like, the experimental long distance torpedo things. I mean, alright, but if they've got... ...people in... I mean, they're already long distance, so you'd expect them to be, uh... ...maybe less explosive than normal because they've got extra fuel or whatever. Then you tell me there's an entire guy inside, and they're not that big to begin with? Whoop. Guy's got lasers. He's normally dead by now when I'm playing as the robot. Like, those torpedoes were like three quarters a guy and a... 
cryo kit and all the other stuff that the guy needs. Where does the actual torpedo part come in? I mean, we see that they do actually explode, so, uh... Now that I think about it, they don't explode very well, do they? I don't think they actually do much when they go off. And they and a bunch of them go off at once. Some reason, uh, only missiles don't lock onto doors. Were not those guys wearing blue a moment ago? Last time we got here. Weird. That, hold down the homing fire button. That's, that's how wars will be fought in the future. Okay, so how do you actually fight this guy? I didn't figure it out at one point, and then I, now I don't remember how that worked. Okay, so you gotta blow those up. Oh, right, you blow those up, and then you get the heck down because he's about to do a thing. This guy's only dangerous in certain areas slash forms. Oop, get down, get down. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. You just gotta learn all these things. Three days later. We've identified the hacker who breached our security. His name is Neumann Cascade. Yes, really. He's the best hacker on the net. He used the panic caused by the robot as a diversion so he could steal the mother alien cell from the research center. It's very likely there was an organization working behind him. His hideout is under a garbage dump. No, really. Don't screw this one up. I already screwed this up. Oops. Okay. Ah, oh, I can't actually go on here. I just gotta survive the wave. I thought this was a keep moving thing. What? Okay. Those junk explosions that didn't seem to hurt me actually contained hidden tiny robots. The enemy have copied our tiny robot technology. An insane bike gangers living out in the, the garbage dumps. Oh, I thought I... Sure, I shot that guy, but all right. Fine, we'll, we'll play your game. We'll pretend that I that I didn't. Whoop. Yeah, definitely hit those guys. They must have invincibility frames for the first moment after they show up or something. Oh. 
another car with a turret hidden inside it. I wasn't ready. This is actually the furthest I've got. Yeah, I don't think I ever... I remember this... Whatever it was. I don't think I beat this guy last time I played. Oh. How do I... How do I not die, though? I'm gonna guess I slide under it. I feel like I've probably be un been underusing the slide. I'm gonna give this one more go as the robot, and then I'll play a different game for a bit. I think the robot is probably the strongest character. I feel like I'm learning some other things here, but this is kind of a frustrating game to play in, but a lot of the stuff you can't really do first, like, right? you have to learn. It's like memorization. I, you know, I don't care about you. I'm just gonna leave you there. You can continue sniping nothing from that position. Oh, I dodged into a grenade. I think I lost the power up in the process. Like that there. I get that realistically bullets are fast and you don't get time to dodge them, but those shots are like instant. If you don't know what, where he's about to shoot, you don't dodge it. So good. Gotta beat the boogie bot. I think for this first phase, we want the flail. Guess he's just gonna jump around, and we can. We want to just ignore what he's doing, where he's going. Just ignore aiming at him and just uh, dodge his attacks is what we want to do. Oh, okay. Jumped to where he already was. And then for this stage. I feel like I'm better off with just the basic gun. Should have jumped over that, I don't know why I didn't. We practiced this the last time. instead of a jump. Because with some characters if you're crouching and you hit jump you do a slide and with some characters if you're crouching and you hit jump you do a jump and it's not really consistent. <laughs> it just ruins me every time. Rescue the research center. Okay, we've just 
pause for a second. There we go. Yeah, this return gun gives me twice as many chances of hitting this thing, so. Probably the best one for this spot. Probably against the scuba diver as well. Wow, we pretty much insta destroyed him though. Time this guy gets me with his first shot before I realize exactly where he is. Okay, so the thing I need to remember there, part of the memorization for this game, is to dash to the left when the, the plane shows up. But now I don't have any upgrades, which is a shame. I bet the, uh, I bet the flail would have demolished that plane. Trying my bike. That bike was like a brother to me. Because he was in fact my brother. We had our AI cars produced in the same on the same day in the same factory. Our serial numbers were one away from each other. That's what brotherhood means amongst AI. Okay, it was sure a lot easier when I had a better weapon. No, oh, I'm back off, dude. Thank you. Okay, so hang out on the left-hand side here, because this guy shows up and fires before you really even see him. You can see the vulture plane or whatever it is. Not too dangerous. Brace yourself, robot. We're going down. I almost missed my weapons. I think for this bit I'm better off with the, just the basic gun. Because both of my other weapons are high single target damage, and there's just tons of these guys, so... Oop, hey no, Alan, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm playing this again. I don't know why. Intense self-loathing is my guess. Ah, uh, what? What? Okay, apparently the, the uh, screen auto-scrolls there, so if you stop moving you die. I did not know that was going to be a mechanic. Yeah, how are you doing today? You alright, dude? You had a good day? So, let's see if I can remember how to do this. The flail knows what it's supposed to be destroying. Climb down here because he's angry. Then get back up here because he doesn't really attack me while he's building stuff. Just 
Destroy the bot, get down because he's angry. I'm doing alright. I'm real tired. Yeah, the, the flail obliterates bosses. The damage on that thing is unbelievable. Nah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing alright. I don't want to grumble. <laughs> I'm a little tired, but I'm enjoying, uh, enjoying what I'm doing. That is 48, we're getting there. Two more, dude, two more. We got one yesterday and we got one this afternoon. So yeah, this team's been going pretty good. Got a few new people in. Oops. Oh, dang it, I was trying to grab the power-ups and I, uh, I greeted, I greeted. Try to grab power-ups I didn't need, and I uh, lost power-ups because of them. But yeah, we're getting there, dude. It's real close, real close. I'm so excited. And yeah, the streams have been fun. This is Twitch custom, yeah. I think we're close to the end of Pyrus. I'm probably going to do a poll on uh, what game to play next. I might do that after this game, during the break. Then I can talk you guys through it. Maybe late in the hour, somebody will be here by that point. <laughs> and uh, Dark Souls was pretty fun. We played through a really frustrating area, which is always hilarious times. Flag bots everywhere. Garbage frogs. Most deadly of foes. Oh, oh, there was a power up there and I missed it. It was probably a thing that I don't need. I really like getting things that I don't need. Oh, this doesn't feel like a safe spot to be. What do I do here? Okay, I jump over those, I guess. Oh, he's coming back over to this side. We've reached the... I don't think we've beaten this boss. We've reached the point where I actually have to figure things out instead of just memorizing them. And as we've discussed, this game, uh... You beat it by already knowing what to do. Okay. But yeah, so you jump over that, or you just have enough lives that you can just pour shots into him. Nice. Water level, kinda, yeah. It uh, it, it's a it's a swamp level basically. The bit that I was doing earlier. You there's a swamp. The water is poisonous, so your t poison meter slowly goes up while you're in it. There's uh, bugs everywhere. There's snipers with poison darts. It's it, a horrible mess. Actually, not the worst part of it though. The, the worst part was last week where we did the first half of the poison level. The area above the swamp. Okay, so there's, there's this whole section in Dark Souls that is just like, why? There wasn't really swamp folk, or... Uh, kind of? There's a lot of beast creatures that I think were originally human. Because they use fire magic, and fire magic has a corrupting effect in Dark Souls. Nah, more like insect men. Or oh, not even insect men, just insects that probably used to be human. And breathe fire. Yeah, you, so you basically you go down from the uh, undead uh, undead chapel to the, uh, un the rotted undead town, where there's tons of poison enemies. Then from there you go down below that into the sewers, which is, uh, you know, obviously sewer level. It, typical close quarters, poison, nasty crap. Then under the sewers you find a town, an old town where people are still living, even though it's under the sewers and the sewers drain down there. That's full of basically swamp folk. And it's horrible poison and it's above a massive cavern, so there's narrow passageways and deadly falls as while you're getting poisoned. And then from there you climb down into areas where there's 
horrible insect men coming at you, and from there you end up in a swamp. So it's like four poison levels in a row. I mean, it's just horrible. Yeah, why would you live there? I don't know. A lot of it's technically optional. It's a very long and very difficult route to avoid it, but I think most players do that just because... Why would you go in there? Also, hey Lady Meow, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm not disputing the nobility of Frogman. To be honest, I don't really mind... I mean, the, uh... The fact that the insect people are mindless and swarming me is kind of a problem, but... I think Pyromancy is really cool in Dark Souls, so, you know, I feel a bit of a kinship with the, uh... The people who have overused Pyromancy to the point where it's corrupted them. Uh, I'm talking to chat and I'm dying. This is this is how this game goes, though. Because we're in a new area. If you don't know what you're doing already, you die. Oh, we're back to the back here. Oh well. Went climbing tonight. Nice. Is it good? Ah, oh, I thought that was I thought that was the last bike. There's two bikes in the middle. A second bike hidden in the shadow of the first. Here you had fun. Hope it's been a good day for you. Yeah, 80s biker gangs living in the, the toxic waste dumps. Setting their bizarre little frog robots on us as well. 80s sci fi biker gangs is what's going on here. It was a terrible day before that. Oh, that's a shame. Glad it's over. Yeah, I, I get you. In that, yeah, in that case, I'm also glad it's over. Uh, what? Why would I jump into that? I knew that was instant death. Why would I... What did I think that was going to accomplish? You have to duck under that thing. Why, why would you jump into it? Heck, this robot's so tiny that that attack's not even dangerous unless you uh, unless you jump. You don't even need to duck as him. The other characters you gotta duck. This guy, you just uh, just stand there. What did the robot say? Sounded like he cleared his throat. Does, does he have a throat? Yeah, just keep doing your thing, I guess. That's no Alan saying. Trust me, right now I can really sympathize. I don't want to grumble about it on stream, but it's been tough times. But I mean, you guys know about it. No point recapping, but yeah, you, you've got my sympathies with whatever, whatever it is. If any of you want, if you want, want to chat about it, let me know. But I suspect it's just business as usual, right? Just keep doing your th the robot about not jumping. Okay, yeah. Just keep doing my, just keep standing there, not get, not jumping into attacks. Fair enough. <laughs> also, everyone else, yes, everybody, keep doing your thing. If you've got a thing, keep doing it, people. Don't give up on your things. I believe in you. I believe you can do your things. And I won't stand in your way. What is this? Is this graffiti inside a base? How do you, how do you end up getting your, the inside of your base graffitied? What does that even say? Rebar? No, is that an R? Because it sticks out to the side. Rebar? Rebar? Is, is rebar a thing? Maybe it's an advert. It's advertising rebar is what I'm getting here. This, this enemy base is sponsored by rebar. Remember, if you buy rebar, you're directly funding terrorism. It is what I'm getting here. Rebar is what the Americans call steel in reinforced concrete. Yeah. 
I knew I knew there was I knew it meant something. Something construction based, but I couldn't remember what. Oh. <laughs> Remember this now. This this secret area that I stumbled into. If instead of going through the door to continue the game, you grab onto the wall and climb up here, then you encounter yeah, the Riddler. Hey you, wanna make some money in the battle arena? So from what I remember, if we do this, we get a really horrible boss. And if we somehow beat it, we get an alternate ending where the game ends early. What do you think, guys? Do we give it a try, or do we forget about it? Do we try and get the regular ending, or do we try the stupid ending? Go on. We're doing the stupid ending. Spin those slots. This is the furthest we've gotten, and we're gonna throw it away to spin the slots. I'll give it a try. Well, good luck. Look out, he's picked up a fish. He's super powered now. Oh, leave me alone. He's gonna throw that fish at me. So I don't remember anything about this guy other than... Oh, okay, we took his head off. Oh, was, that, was that game? It's a guy with a guitar throwing a fish at us, is what that was. Do we restart inside that fight? Is that what happens? It, it is what happens. We're locked into this now. Look at that crowd in the background. Are those... I'm not 100% sure, but are those monkey men? And... Is that guy wearing a skull mask or is he an alien? Is that a helmet or an afro? But yeah, this is uh... Oh, dang it, he got me. He's good. He's real good. He's got those moves. So other than this obviously being made by people on drugs, this is in some ways a Castlevania reference, I think. This music is a Castlevania remix. And I think the way the guy is throwing the fish, it bounces back kind of like the Chakrams in uh, Castlevania. Hmm? Alright, will do. Think Skull Mask guy has too many arms? I think you might be right. I can't tell if one of those arms is from the guy stood next to him, but it does look like he's got four arms. Alright, so now that we've... Okay, this guy just does the same thing once you've taken his head off. It doesn't affect him in any meaningful way. Other than he now shoots confetti. I don't know if the guitar means anything. Whoop! You won! Do I face... Now I face my next opponent. Um... What? Why? Okay, but why though? I mean, that was really easy, because I got into that one spot and shot his missiles down. Wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> so that, that was death from the Castlevania series? Maybe? Pushing a pram with some kind of monster in it. Seems to jump higher. Oh, he's lost some weight, obviously. Okay, so now, uh, whoop. The gates to hell are open. Don't un really understand what is happening now. Okay. Fair, fair. So when he does that thing stand in the middle, is Thor Ragnarok? Yeah, that... I think Thor is Ragnarok. I think you're right. I think I think that's the case, Noralon. Okay, so for this guy we want to be up top. 
fight. Oh, okay. I didn't get up top fast enough. I think this is probably going to be all about uh, conserving enough life for the Dimensional Scrambler, which I assume is the real boss. It feels like the real boss. Yeah, I think that's the, the Castlevania whip that he's got, and there's, there's the fish like the chakrams, this is Castlevania music. I don't, I don't know if this is a Castlevania reference or not. At first I thought it was death, pushing a pram, but... Oh, did he get me? He got me. I wasn't in the right spot, I guess. Here we go, this looks more promising. The Grand Master was presumably the guy who brought us here, right? Who asked us if we want to fight in the arena? Oh, the missile's got me. Okay, instant death. Favorite and least favorite thing about that film was Thor's story about Loki and the snake. I don't remember that. Sense of that, yeah. Like, like I, come on, he, he's clearly the grandmaster. He looks like him in every way. I threw that life away. I, I didn't need to lose a life there, and I did. He didn't play his own theme music. Are we sure that the music that was playing there wasn't his theme music? Yeah, that's probably where the music is coming from now, that guy. Oh, uh, what? Oh, I didn't grab the wall fast enough, I guess. That, that was, that was absolutely, that was maximum thrown away life. I mean, this guy's super easy. All I gotta do is stand directly above his head and fire diagonally to the lower left, and I still lost a life on him. Alright, see you in a bit, Lady Meow. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh, actually, uh. Oh, shoot. Alright, she survived that. Uh, that's. Okay, I didn't survive that. Do you want to stick around for two minutes, Lady Meow? And I think, yeah, because that was my last life. I'm going to do a, a new poll on what game we should play after Pirates, because I think we're reaching the end of that. And do you want to listen to my pictures? Let's see. First, we need to add up the previous poll results. Let's see how we, how we got, went. The vote is clearly in. Charizard is not a real dragon. Well, you, you, the people, have voted. I mean, I, I, I have, I have no stake in this. I left it up to you, and you all agreed that Charizard is not a real dragon. Well, let me grab my phone. I made a list of some of the games, and we'll we'll put a poll together. Stream games. It's just like in wrestling. No, come on. Wrestling is real. It's the real world that's fake. Let's 
Let's see, what is some of the stuff on here? I thought I had more on this list. Especially considering I've already done some of these. So let's see, how do you make a new poll? Is it poll... hang on. Tell, tell me the parameters. Poll new, thank you. So one of them's going to be Pokemon Sapphire type lock. Continuation of the type locks that we have been doing. I mean, you guys know those. The uh, but, well, I mean, for anybody who's, who's cho just tuning in, the next type lock will be the type lock challenge. You can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter of each type, and if it faints, then it's gone forever. So you get a limited number of Pokemon to beat the whole game. We already did uh, Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Silver, so this will be the continuation, Pokemon Sapphire. Let's see, do we want to put Yume Nikki in? I know Burzum requested it heavily, but we were talking about doing it on the, uh, bon on the uh, bonus stream, the celebration one, when we get 50 followers. I can put it in. If you guys want it now, you can vote for it. If not, we'll do it on, on the stream, probably. And let's see... Oh, here's another game that's been requested. Renowned Explorers. Which I've been told is a little bit like Darkest Dungeon. And was suggested to me by somebody who was watching me play Slay the Spire, said it was something he thought I'd like. So that might be a fun thing to try. I don't know much about it, but I, I gather that you like put a team together, you go exploring areas, there's a lot of roguelike elements, could be fun. Yeah, let me put some... Uh, Blind roguelike. So they, those games sounding agreeable to you? Before I uh, commit to it, are there any things you'd want to suggest that I put in for the vote? Or you? That is a that is certainly a tongue fact there. Stay healthy, but that uh, that doesn't really. Hmm. Thomas and friends. I mean, that's a ga that's like an occasional game, you know. We don't want to ruin it by playing it too much. Final Fantasy Twenty Six. I don't have you know. I don't have the cables to stream that one just yet. Maybe someday in the future. All right, let's go ahead and create this new poll then. Wait, that's not how you do it. Don't vote yet. Don't vote yet. I did it wrong. The first, the first one is the uh, the title, not the uh, options. Why this ballot only has one choice on it? <laughs> I demand a recount. Okay, the sec the second one is valid. Next game after pirates. Head to strawpoll.me to vote. The uh, the po the voting will expire when pirates finishes, regardless of when that is. We're we're close to the end. We might finish it tomorrow. If we're really productive, we'll finish it tomorrow. I think we might have, we've probably got two more sessions in, t in it. But we've done a lot of the hard quests. It's wrapping up a lot of the traveling around, looking for treasure kind of stuff that's left. Gathering those riches. Maybe conquering a city just so I can show you guys, uh... What, what it's like to, uh, to capture a city. Oh, uh, yeah, the... The thing is kind of dumb to to show the to show the link. You have to type poll results, and then it tells you the current vote, and also gives the link.
I'll also tell Nightbot to start asking, to start repeating it, shall I? Anyway, we need to change game. Do you guys have a game you want to play? Or, uh, I'm thinking maybe some Pugsy? Let's see. Oh, that's commands. I want timers. Where are the timers? What should be our next evening game after pirates? Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I'm breaking everything, guys. Been dancing or sinking ships? So you have been following the plot. Okay, so Nightbot should remind people about the, uh, about the poll now. But yeah, it's poll results to get the actual link for some silly reason. Yes, it's a metaphor. The, the, we're rescuing people spiritually through the beauty of our dancing and also by sinking ships and sending them to heaven. I've rescued three of our four family members. So we've done some rescuing. But I mean, technically even that is like a side qu There's no main quest. It's, it's just, there's a lot of things you can do. Which ones do you want to do? If you want to get the best score, do all of them. Yeah, the evil Spaniard, uh, so... Our family took out a massive loan from the evil Spaniard to fund our development of our a trading company and then our trading fleet that was bringing home massive profits sank the day before the debt became due so the Spaniards showed up and threw us all into slavery apart from the main character who escaped and became a pirate is basically how it went down next game should be Final Fantasy 32 and then Pugsy do you want me to not do do you want me to not do Pugsy if you're leaving now so that you can catch it later? Should I play another game in the meantime? Cuz I know you were wanting to watch Pugsy the other the other week Lady Meow and uh, you had to leave before we started. Maybe. Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. I'll <laughs> just like the music fair. Alright, we'll play a different game first, and then we'll do Pugsy. I'm going to take just a moment. If you guys have got another game you want me to play first, shout it out. Otherwise, I'll just pick something at random. Alright, I'll be back soon, everybody.